All y'all saying I'm jealous of Hannah Nealman. Here's the thing. Not only did I live out the trad wife life for 13 years in poverty and misery and abuse, I was also born to a trad wife. And that trad wife, my mom, we were not poor. We actually were very well off. So I experienced ballerina farm from the perspective of a child. My father was the CFO for a company that you would recognize if I said the name. We lived in a beautiful home. We did international vacations, all eight of us, and money was never an issue, never even brought up. Our home always looked like it was staged to show. Like at any point, my mother could have listed our home for sale and had people walking through. Our meals were home cooked. And I will say this is probably the thing that I do remember fondly is there was always good food. You may be shocked to find out that this very beautiful picturesque upbringing actually left me with a lot of trauma. There was so much emphasis on the way things looked and on the way we were perceived that I developed major issues with perfectionism, being an overachiever and having issues quitting even when my husband is super abusive. I have issues with being vulnerable and letting people in, with trusting and with believing I can ever be enough. Allowing myself the human ability of failure has been like stabbing myself in the eye with a needle again and again. But I know it's important to me because if I don't make room for failure, I also won't make room for my dreams to come true. I also have a deeply ingrained belief that I am a burden. And I think this is because even as a very young child, probably to infancy, my mom was overwhelmed and I picked up on that and I knew that my existence was a very large part of why she was so overwhelmed. My mom also resented me and it showed. Um, I haven't spoken extensively to my other siblings about this. Only, only one of them has talked um, openly about this because they are also out of the church. Um, that feeling of being resented by our mother, it's not good. Also, very much a conditional love situation. Like, the better we made mom look, the better we made the family look, the more Mormon and perfect that we appeared, the more love we received. The more dysfunctional, effed up, <laughs> even just human that we were, the disapproval and the iciness and the pulling away. And this is from like young, young childhood. You can't make a family that pretty without some rigidity. I will say at least Hannah Nealman's kids have the outdoors. And uh, the outdoors is what saved me both as a child and as a DV survivor. It was my safe place to cry as an adult, and as a child, it was my safe place to be messy, dirty, wild. All the things that kids are supposed to be. But it's not only the mess that trad wife Mormon families take issue with. Um, it's the messy emotions. It's things like anger, sadness, freakouts. They repress the shit out of that. And they sure as hell don't like their kids doing it either because it triggers them. So learning how to feel really deep grief, how to cry, how to emote, and also how to allow myself to be angry. You know, like how I'm angry over what the LDS church is doing to women. Allowing space for those feelings and realizing it doesn't make me bad or evil or shameful has been a journey. So trad wife life isn't only a problem for the wives. It's also a problem for the children that are stuck at home with these women 
who don't want this at a very deep level but are forcing themselves to do it because they want to be good and they want to be loved by God and their husband. Growing up with a trad mom has profoundly, profoundly affected me. And it's just another layer of why I speak out against this.